Good morning, everybody. So we have made it to San Diego, California. It has been a little while since we did any filming. Uh, how long did we stay in Phoenix? About a week. About a week. Yeah, so we, uh, we left Sedona and drove down to Phoenix. Um, our original plan was to stay in Phoenix for two or three days, just to kind of kill some time there. Yeah. Was that what it was? Yep. Yeah. We booked the Airbnb for three days. Yeah, and we had decided that we wanted an Airbnb with a pool, and then we got in the pool, and then we extended our stay in Phoenix for four more days. So we ended up staying there for a full seven days. It was so hot. Well, that was the other so thing. Hot. It was so hot. But that pool was amazing. The pool was super nice. It was nice. so awesome. Actually, the whole house was super yeah, nice. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it was probably the nicest Airbnb we've stayed. Well, definitely on this trip, the nicest that we've stayed in. Definitely one of the nicest Airbnbs I've yeah. ever stayed in. Um, but we ended up staying there for a week. Uh, and then we made the drive over here in one day from uh, Phoenix over to San Diego. The drive over here was super cool. Ended up driving through some legitimate desert with some actual <laughs> sand dunes, which was cool. I've That's never seen cool. that before. We drove within like maybe a few hundred yards of the Mexican border. That was kind of cool. Saw the fence. Saw the fence or part of a fence or something. I'm not sure. It didn't look like a fence very much. It looked like, I don't know, like a black well, barrier. Oh yeah, it yeah. Was, it was weird. Yeah, obviously we didn't want to get too close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we were on the interstate, so there was no getting any closer. So, and then, uh, so then we made it to San Diego last night. Uh, we got settled in here at this hotel. We're switching to another hotel tonight. We got here a little bit early. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we now didn't the tend to make the whole drive in one day, but but we decided to because it was only six hours. I mean, it's a little longer than we've been trying to do, but six hours isn't terrible. Yeah. 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 It made sense. Yeah. So I, I don't really know what is on the agenda today. Like I'm just kind of here. So today we're going to go check out. Uh, the the Dell Hotel Dell Coronado, um, and Coronado, I it's not an island, peninsula. Sure, I don't. And know. Uh, see what's out there, and then um, I think we'll go maybe to the Gaslamp Quarter, maybe Balboa Park, um, somewhere else in downtown um, San Diego, fairly close to our hotel, um, and uh, see what else there is. All right, well, we're going to get started. So in the world, according to Lisa, we've arrived. Jeremy, not so much, but I love this place. The Hotel Del Coronado was built in 1888 uh, and rose even more to fame in 1958 when Marilyn Monroe uh, starred in the movie Some Like It Hot. Um, if you've ever seen the movie, it's definitely a major part of, uh, of the setting. And this place to me, couldn't get any better. It's beautiful. The setting is amazing. The architecture is amazing. It's 69 degrees, got a little bit of a breeze, and we're at the Pacific Ocean, so far from home. So we're gonna go check out what else the Dell has to offer. All 
All right, so we have made it to the night and day cafe. We walked a couple miles to get here from the uh, Coronado Hotel Del Coronado. Hotel Del Coronado. Uh, we walked along the beach for a little bit, and now we've made it over here for lunch. Uh, it's a breakfast Mexican place. Yeah. yeah. So we ended up both getting omelets, and uh, now we're gonna eat. All right, so we just finished lunch at the night and day cafe, and we're gonna walk back down to my second home. Maybe not Jeremy's, although I think he would live there if he had the chance. And uh, see the beach one more time, and then we're gonna head to Old Town San Diego and see what's there. So our time has come to leave the Hotel Del Coronado, but we've enjoyed the several hours that we've had here. It's a beautiful experience, just like I remember it. Bigger now, there's a lot of options that weren't here before. And we looked up a cute little villa on the ocean at $11.2 million for 2,000 square feet with three beds and three baths. Chump change. So we'll be closing on that before we leave the general area and you can just find us here. We made it to Old Town. The hardest part, finding a parking spot. For round two, we did it. And so now um, we're gonna go get Jeremy some soap and check out this cool market, see what we can find. All right, so we have made it to our hotel here in downtown San Diego. We're right on the harbor at the uh, Wyndham. Uh, it's a beautiful view. We actually have a balcony. We're actually facing the skyline view, not the harbor view, which is cool. It's still a very, very pretty view. Um, and then uh, we're up on the 11th floor. Getting here was kind of a pain. Uh, traffic was rough. We had to go around the block multiple times. And then to get into parking, you had to have your key. You had, it was like a, about a block away. I don't know, it was definitely different, but. We're here now. Um, we made it. To, we ended up making it to Old Town, so uh, we're not going to be doing that tomorrow. But tomorrow we do have a cruise, and uh, a cruise out on the uh, on the ocean or in the bay. I'm not sure which. I can't remember. Lisa booked it. Um, we're going to do that in the. I think it's at like 11, and we'll find some other stuff here to do. But I think that's going to do it for today. We're both a little bit beat. A lot of walking today, so we are going to call it a night, and we'll see everybody tomorrow. Good morning from sunny San Diego. Today we're going to take a sightseeing slash sea lion watching cruise um, out of one of the ports here on the City Experiences Cruise Line, which is formerly Hornblower. Um, and it'll be interesting for me because I actually went on the Hornblower cruise the last time I was here. So I'm hoping um, I remember some of it and let's see what the differences are. But by by last time, you mean 20 years ago? Yeah, it's been a minute. Okay, it's yeah. been more than last time. <laughs> that was lame. It's been a minute. Um, and then we're going to walk down to the Seaport Village and check that out and see what there is to see. And uh, who knows what the rest of the day will bring.
So we just finished the City Experiences Harbor Cruise and Sea Lion Watching Cruise um, out in the bay, which was really cool. Um, shocker, I didn't remember anything from the last time, but that's okay. From 20 years <laughs> ago. 20 years ago. Um, we took a cool tour of all the naval ships, obviously on the water, we didn't go in them. Um, active naval ships, which was really cool. And we also got to see the uh, Nimitz, which is the boat that Lexi was on, which is my former stepdaughter, which was super cool. Um, saw some helicopters go over, um, and of course some sea lions, and I don't know, maybe five or six dolphins. Yeah, it was, a pretty um, cool, it was a pretty cool trip. It was supposed to be two hours, but it turned out to be more like about two and a half to three. Yeah, which, which was, was good, because yeah. they came back and unloaded and stuff. Yeah. And so that was, it was good. So now we're going to go down um, and check out what else is on the coast. I thought we were going down to some specific village. Yeah, I couldn't remember the name of it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we're going to some sort of village that we don't remember the name of. <laughs> we'll put it on the screen. Yeah, we'll put it on the screen. All right. All right, so that was a fairly busy day here in San Diego for a day two. The cruise lasted a little longer than we expected, but it was fun, and then we walked around and saw that park, and that was a lot of fun. The walk back was a little longer and a little hotter than I'd like, but uh, we've made it back, and I think that's gonna wrap it up for today. Um, I'm not even sure what's on the agenda for tomorrow. I, I don't know, Lisa's got a whole list of things that are happening. I'm just kind of going along for the ride, but I think tomorrow is a beach, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I think that's going to do it for today. Hope everybody has a good night.